Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have learned the basic introduction of the Flexbox and why we use this Flexbox and about so how we can design the layouts. So what are the things, what are the features that are present in the Flexbox? We have seen it. Now let's try to see the practical implementation of that one about the main axis and the cross axis. So how the Flexbox will behave? Let's try to see it. Here I'm having a body. So this is a simple thing. And here I'm having a flex layout.css. So these are the two things. And here I'm trying to show you the output here. Okay. Let's go into this one body. And I'm taking a do class is equal to container. Let's assume this is a container, flex container. And I am having some series of elements. Okay, let's say that the anchor link or otherwise any, anything, anything. You can take anything. Let's take this div only. So div item one, I can say it as item two and item three. So you can have whatever may be the data you can have it. I'm having four items. So these are the two, three, four items we are having. Now if you try to see the output, as these are block level elements, you can able to see that one the items are coming one by one down. Let's do some design. So I am having a container, right? So I will take the container. And I will apply a background color of light blue or anything. So I have applied a background color of light blue. If you try to see here, so the entire thing is in the light blue. The border, the margin is because of the body. Okay, let's leave it. Now here, let's try to apply the color for these items also. So that is nothing but in the container, greater than due. We have a greater than due. Now I want to apply a background color of light red or light coral so which we are using more often in our sessions let's see so these are the items we are having so now as the items are total cover up the parent back you are having the blue color and this one is having like this let's apply border also border one pixel solid black so i am applying a border for this one let's see how the output will come here yeah, so these are the items. So now we are able to see that the items are coming one by one down. Now this is the default behavior. Why? Because as the div elements are all block level elements, it will take the entire row to fill up the space. Now, suddenly, now what I want to do here, I want to control these are called as an items. Okay, when we say it as an items means this is the flex container, this is the container, and the items present here, these are all the children present, these are all called as an items. Now, in order to control these items, okay, the elements or items, we call it as a normally items. Now, in the container, we need to keep it as display flex. Okay, when you make it as a display flex, now see what will happen. The output is suddenly the output has been changed. The item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4, which are on one by one down vertically, these are arranged in a such a way that four items the the four items are coming side by side and that too they is taking the space the how much content is present that much space only it is taking so that is the thing you need to understand for example for the item two if i increase some content here if i add some random content here now see you will be able to see the output the see the second container takes some little bit of extra width than the other items why because it is having some extra data extra content so that means how much content it is there that much space only the box is taking like an inline element but this is not an inline element this is a block level element why because this will behave as a block level element but the parent the container the container is having the, the, the but the container we have made it as a display flex because of that reason all the items are in the are behaving like an inline element but those are actually not inline level elements those are flex items by default these all flex items are on the row so it is taking as a row why because why it is taking as a row so those are coming all are coming as a one by one as a row why why those are coming is because of the flex direction because of the flex direction now you can define so here the main axis is from here to here the cross axis is from top uh, column wise. So from main axis is here, horizontal row, and the cross axis is 
column now the flex direction by default it is left to right now if you want to mention okay if i want to mention it so we can also do it using the flex direction so this is the flex direction i can write it as row here okay if you mention this one as a row so now here if you are able to see so nothing has happened why because this item the container by default the flex direction is row only so if you don't if you mention it as a row if you don't mention it as a row the default value the initial value for this one flex direction is row now let's say that we have some couple of options in the flex direction so that couple of options is nothing but row reverse okay so when you keep it as row reverse then the main axis is all still in the horizontal only at the top only but it will be right to left so if you try to see here the main axis now here see all the items has been moved to the end of the container it is not starting from the start of the container it has been moved to the end of the container and the main axis is from left to right item one is came here this side item two item three item four now item one is not here item one is the here this side so here it is from right to left okay here you need to understand that main axis is from right to left here it is from left to right so here it is from right to left okay when you make it as row reverse so this is one thing which you need to remember flex direction row reverse now you, there is also another some couple of options like column so if i mention this one as column well, which one the flex direction if i mention this one as column now see all the items are coming one by one down so these are taking it as the space as one by one now for example i will try to maintain this one as column reverse you can also have another one column reverse oh sorry column reverse now if you mention this one as column reverse now see item one item two item three so the reverse direction this has been placed so these are this is how you can maintain the directions in the uh, you can you can uh, set the directions using the flex direction property so here the main axis is from bottom to top and the cross axis is horizontally so this is how the flex direction is used so using this flex direction by default value is row so here it will be having like this and also you need to understand that how much content is there that much content only it will take so the, this is the remaining all the, the space is left over the parent the space is left over this is how it is having the content and it is taking that much content only so this is about the flex direction so now we have learned about the flex box how we can how we can how the display flex when you make it as how the flex direction happens we have seen it so when you mention this one as display fx the items will be initially initial display will be row and these all things do not wrap okay these all things do not wrap it for example let's say that i am having some plenty of options sorry plenty of items so let's say that i am having some plenty of items i added some plenty of items let's see how this output will become see here these all things are not wrapping instead i am getting a scroll bar horizontal scroll bar okay so these all will not wrap and these the and also you need to understand that these all will not will not grow to fill the container so that is also one of the option you need to understand so now here if i mention only four items are there means so it will not grow to the end of the container to fill the parent container it will not grow also so now and also the default one is it will start at the it will the lineup starts at the start of the container only so this is also the another thing you need to understand so for controlling the direction of the items we use the flex direction property and we have the more popular uh, is the four property values one is a row which is a default value items will be laid, laid as a row row reverse the items layout as a row uh, from end of the flex container and the column the items layout as a column and the last one is the column reverse the items layout as a column from the end of the flex container so that is the main thing you need to understand okay hope you understood about this flex direction and the display flex how it works so now in the next week session we'll try to see about on some more properties which are available in the flex we'll try to see it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you